Hello, Flat Rock students. Today, I wanna to talk with you about the South Carolina Children's Book Award program for this school year and how you can participate in it. Now, some of you may remember this from previous years and you may remember getting to vote in it. So let's dive into the details and look at the books on this year's list. All right, so the very first thing that you need to know about this program is that third through fifth grade students in South Carolina are the ones who vote. Not the teachers, not the principals, not your parents, but only the students. So your vote is important. In fact, you're the only ones who can vote. It'll be students all across our state who are reading the books and casting their votes. Now, the book that gets the most votes will be our winner. Not just the winner from our school, but across the entire state. So we may have a book in our school that is the most popular, but it may not be the winner for the state because we count the votes for every student who votes all across South Carolina. Now, voting in our school is going to take place in February, and this year we're gonna do something really exciting. The Anderson County Elections Office is actually going to come in and bring their ballot boxes, and you are gonna vote on the same machines that your parents vote on whenever they go to vote on election day, whether it's for president or for state officials or local officials. So you are gonna to get to vote with those very same machines that your parents do. Now, in order to be eligible to vote, you have to read at least five of the titles. Now, that should be really easy for us this year because there are 20 titles, but 10 of them are on Battle of the Books. So if you read the Battle of the Books books, you are already going to be eligible to vote. Here's the list of the 20 books, and some of these are going to look really familiar to you since they're already on Battle of the Books. I'm going to go over what they are. And then you can already be deciding what you want to read to get ready for our voting in February. So All the Answers, Bayou Magic, Circus Mirandus, Crenshaw, and now this is one of our Battle of the Books books, as is Cursed. We have Escape from Baxter's Barn and Full Kakeda Moon. Fuzzy Mud, which is another of our battle books. Game Changer, this is a picture book, and it's an awesome story about the integration of basketball. A Handful of Stars. I Fly, again, another picture book. It's nonfiction about flies. The Last Kids on Earth, which I know most of you are familiar with. Moving Target, which is one of my favorites. And A Night Divided, again, both of these are battle books. Nooks and Crannies, another great mystery. Roller Girl, which is a graphic novel. That's like a comic book. We have Ruby on the outside, again, one of our battle books. The Safest Lie, which is about World War II and the Nazis. Serafina and the Black Cloak. And Tucky Joe and Littleheart, another one of our battle books, as is Serafina. And Tucky Joe is also a picture book. Out of these 20 books, I know that all of you should find at least five that you want to read. So make sure that you read your books for your team for battle books, but then you read whatever extra you need to, to read a minimum of five so that you will be able to vote on election day. You're not gonna wanna miss that when we bring in these voting boxes that your parents get to vote on in elections across our state, and we have them here in our school in February. 